if we look at these guys loading this thing, the guy has to raise the packet up and then move it along and then drop it down. The order in which those things happen is really important. If he does things in the wrong order, that container is just going to slam into the side of the ship. The way you do things really makes a difference. And it's the same in arithmetic and mathematics. If you want to add something to something else and you want to take something away from that, the order in which you do things can be really important. When you have several operations in a math problem, the order you perform them can make a difference. So to avoid confusion, mathematicians have agreed on a sequence to follow called the order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. If you look at the order of operations, the first one says, do all work inside parentheses or above and below a fraction bar? The second one is evaluate powers and square roots. Third is multiply and divide. And the fourth is add and subtract. The basic um, rule for this is that when we're doing a longer equation, we're going to do those things in that order. And we'll always work from left to right. So what do we have here? We have a problem with some multiplication, a problem with some addition, and a problem with some subtraction. Now, if we follow the order of operations and we work from left to right, which piece of this problem would we do first? Do we have anything in parentheses? No. No. Do we have any powers and roots? No. Do we have any multiplication or division? <coughs> multiplication we have. Yes. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to do the multiplication. So we start from left to right, and we have 3 times 4. Okay. If it helps, you can draw a little arrow or a V, and just write that piece 3 times 4, and you get what? 12. And we keep going to the right. Do we have any more multiplication? Yes. What else do we have? 7 times 2. 7 times 2, and that's going to be? 14. And then we could, in each step, rewrite everything, OK? So we don't get confused. We bring down our plus sign, and we have our subtraction sign. Again, stepping back and looking at the whole problem, left to right, do we have any? We don't, we? Uh, right. So well, actually, we're going to do, if we look at the order of operations, it says add and subtract. So we can just work from left to right, adding and subtracting. So we'd have 15 minus 12. 3. 3. If it, if it helps you to keep organized, just rewrite the whole problem again. 3 plus 14. 17. Minus 5. 12. 12. So our final answer is 12.